Office Academy. So in this session, we are going to learn how we can install the SQL Server on Windows 10 and how we can configure the Oracle database with SQL Developer. So the very first thing that we need to do, we have to go to this location oracle.com database SQL Developer. I will put this uh, URL in the description section. You can take it from there. So you can see that this is the SQL Developer 23.1. This is the latest version which we have. And here if you come down here, you will see that there are two more options uh, for Windows. So this is for Windows with JDK 11. If you don't have the JDK 11 in your machine, you can download this. Or if you already have this JDK 11, that you don't need to download that JDK. So you can download this one. So currently you can, we can start the downloading this one as I don't have the JDK. So let's click on the download and accept this and you will starting download. So your download will be start here. You need to, it will ask you the username and the password for your Oracle account. So you need to mention your user ID and the password and then you can click on sign in. So your download will be started here. Okay. Once your downloading is done, you will get your downloaded SQL developer like this in a zip folder. So you need to unzip this one using right click and extract all here only. So once you unzip this file, you will get this folder like this. So SQL developer doesn't require any installation. Only the folder structure is required. So once you have unzip your all the structures of SQL developer folders. You just need to go to that SQL developer. Inside that you can see that SQL developer exe is there. You just need to click on double click. It will open the SQL developer. So it may take some time to open. Once the SQL developer page is open, you will you will come to this page. The welcome page here you can see that Oracle SQL developer once this is open you need to click on this plus icon so that it will open a new pop-up and it will ask you all the details like here you need to mention the database name it it can be anything so that you can understood which database you are which database and you user you are going to connect here I am already enter some details like here I have kept as an HR so it is a HR user going to be connect in your case is the initial will be system login system local host so that you will get to know that you are going to connect the connect with system user so you need to mention that username as in sys and the password which you have entered during the installation of the database here you will mention that local host and 15 dot to one and here it will be a your service name so service name also you will get get at the time of installation while you have done the installation you might have got this type of a pop-up saying that all your detail your connection detail your local host detail and everything so here you can see that this is the service name xepdb1 this is the this is the service name that you have to mention here this was the service name now once you have mentioned all the port number also you can check that 1521 1521 once you have mentioned all the host name port name and service name you need to click on the test if everything is correct it, you will get a success message and you can connect here you will be able to connect to the database and it will open a new SQL editor Okay, so you got your SQL editor here. You can write a select a statement. Here you can write a select a statement to verify that you have connected. Okay, you got a X. Here you can see that on the right side also it is directly which database connection you are currently connected. So this is how we are able to configure this SQL developer with the database. Thank you so much for watching my channel.